Hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon. With me is Gorilla Mezzo. All right, we are going to go right into it. Blood Bowl 2020 Team Leaks. We're covering the Dark Elf team today, and it's looking pretty similar. Jim, what has changed here? Oh, no, not much, not much, I'll tell you. Uh, of course, as with most, most teams, the passing has been nerfed. Dark Elf Lyman, same cost. Uh, they do lose passing access, and their passing ability is a 4+. plus. Uh, runners stay pretty much the same. They do, however, drop a point of PA um, over what they would have had. Blitzers stay, stay at 100k. Um, they, they go down to 4 plus PA, which is not great. Assassins are, are dropped by 5, 5k cheaper and plus 1 movement. But um, a 5 plus PA is going to make them really hard to level. I mean, it's hard to level them at the best of times, and now they can't even do vanity passes. Uh, still with Shadowing Stab, but Shadowing has been nerfed. And... Uh, Oh, it looks like... No, sorry, I was wrong. And then Witch Elves, <laughs> that's a 5 plus uh, for them. And yeah, that's that's a really big nerf for Witch Elves doing Vanity Passes as well, isn't it? Huge, huge for, huge for Witch Elves particularly there. It is, and to me, I mean, I've never really considered Assassins a viable part of the Dark Elf uh, team, but now I'm going to have to start considering Runners no longer viable. Their dump off becoming a bit crazier uh and and uh the with the passing changes it's going to be harder to get harder to get that ball into the hands of the guy you want to get it to yeah and what's very interesting is the wildly inaccurate rule because now um obviously what would happen when you would blitz a guy with dump off and you would you would mark him with like you know maybe he's one or two players mark the guys he could pass to and then get the blitz in so now if you've got say if he's marked by two players on a you know instead of those fumbles those those rolls would be fumbles that first of all he's more likely to fumble because he's not getting the natural plus one from a quick pass anymore so it's making him more likely to fumble and then well not fumble wildly inaccurate so now you know that's that's really big isn't it that's just that's just really big at the end of the day if he's marked yeah. by two players if you roll a three a one a two or a three you're wildly inaccurate and if you won your fumble, as opposed to only fumbling on a one or a two, and the wildly inaccurate could be hugely cost costly against other agility teams, particularly. Uh, it might not be so bad against uh, like bash teams because at least the ball will be away from the action a bit. But it could be ter yeah. terrible against those as well. It's just more more random, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It gives you the chance to get the ball further away from uh, where the point of attack is, but that's not necessarily going to reliably get it anywhere that you ha are going to have a player given the scatter from wildly inaccurate and everything else yeah yeah it's obviously you can be your opponent's turn so they're going to have the first chance to react to it wherever it goes yeah so i mean i'm looking at i'm looking at my future in dark elves i might not even start with the witch elf might just load up on blitzers and go and go from there because yeah i'm not going to be able to level that witch you know right off the bat with uh you know with some easy uh E easy uh, 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 passes, uh, vanity passes. So I think I might just want all all block all the time to get started. What about you? Yeah, um, it's it's interesting. For a long time, I would start with four blitzers, no runner, seven linemen. Um, I never liked the runner ever. And then when Blood Bowl Two came out, I started starting with the Witch Elf and three Blitzers, and and now I really like that. So, and obviously that the the most other players, the best players have gone up by five k. You know, like War Dancers and Mummies and Ghouls and all these kinds of things. Most players have gone up by five k Trolls, um, but they haven't. Blitzers aren't gone up. Um, linemen haven't gone up. Runners have well, runners aren't very good in my opinion. Which elves haven't gone up, so you can totally start either option: four blitzers, seven linemen, or three blitzers, one witch and witch elf and seven linemen. So I'd probably stick with my usual, my usual go-to of three blitzers and one witch elf. To be honest. Fair enough. Well, if you are a dark elf coach looking at the future, don't worry too much. Things don't seem to be changing around for you all that much. Just. Uh, Maybe realign yourself with being a running team first and never, ever passing the ball. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, obviously when you're dominating games, you're still going to be able to go, with dark, uh, blitzers especially, are going to be able to go for that four plus pass to level. It's it's not out of the realms of possibility that you'll get to go for um, like vanity passes, but it's not going to be at the same extent that it was 
in uh, previous editions, absolutely not. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Jim. That is our Dark Elf Blood Bowl 2020 team. Can't wait to see all the other leaks coming up right here on Jimmy Fantastic's YouTube. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.